Hi everyone, welcome back for another week of decorating. I'm so happy you're all here today. I am just showing a quick clip of our kitchen. I did decorate this a few videos ago for summer and I was going for a really French country cottage core look in this space and I really love how it turned out. I feel like it's really bright and cheery and perfect for summer. And our dining room um, does back onto the kitchen. Our house is very open concept, especially on the main level. We moved moved in about seven years ago. Um, we built this house and I love it. I really like the open floor plan and just that the rooms are a little bit bigger. I love having this dining room space um, for hosting. So I'm super excited to kind of carry the color and just kind of the theme that I'm going with this summer into the dining room. So let's get started on some decorating. One of my favorite places to decorate in the dining room is our buffet. So I'm just gonna go in with this picture frame. I've had this for many years. It was actually the seating plan for our wedding. Um, I just pinned the seating plan on it, so that takes me back, but I just love that it's so neutral. And then I'm gonna add this really pretty wreath right above it, um, just for that perfect little pop of summer. So while I'm decorating today, Holstein's kind of in and out of the house. It's a gorgeous day today, but he was in his little basket here having one of his little treats. He loves these sticks. I try not to give him too many of them, but it's definitely a little treat and he does enjoy them. And I just thought this was such a cute little clip, so I had to include it. I really love to use baskets for my summer and fall decor and especially with this French country theme that I'm going with. I feel like baskets add almost a vintage charm and just a coziness to the space. So I did find this one at a thrift store and then I wanted to layer in some color. So I'm just gonna put one of these little tea towels that I did get from Dollar Tree this year. I knew that I wanted to incorporate books into my decor this summer and I went to one of my local thrift stores, it's my favorite one, and they actually had all the books on, not all of them, but a lot of them on for 50 cents. So this was a time that I knew I could really sort through and find books with the color scheme that I was going to be going with. So I just took the covers off the books and I was really looking for ones that were blue, yellow, gray, white, just really soft colored books to go with my um, um, color scheme for summer and I was just so happy that I was able to find all these books for 50 cents and I love the colors I'm just placing them so the book backing is toward the back you can't see the writing but I just love the subtle hints of color I found this really adorable dish at Winners in town. I think it's so cute with the two little birds. It was only $9.99 and to me it looks very French country. I love the coloring and I just think it's so beautiful. I thought I would just add it to my stack of books. And then I had some of these little mini lemons. You can actually find a lot of lemon decor at Michael's. They do have their Ashland collection and they have bigger lemons as well as the really small ones. And I just think they're perfect for summer decor. I don't know about you guys, but when I'm decorating, I love to add pieces and then take a look back and kind of just see how everything's flowing together. And I felt like something was missing on top of the picnic basket. And then I remembered I had this beautiful lace doily. So I thought I would add it just to bring a really soft feminine touch to the picnic basket to break up some of that wicker. Um, and I love this. I actually thrifted it. And then once I put the books back on, I thought that it really completely at the look and just broke up some of that darker wicker. You'll have to let me know in the comments if you like how this looked before or after the doily. To me, to my eyes, it's definitely more pleasing with that little doily added. And then I'm gonna build in um, this area a little bit. I have this little wooden stool. I love to use it to add some height to my displays. And I'm gonna add another little doily that I have. I have quite a collection of these. I think they're so cute. And then I have this gorgeous kettle. I found this thrifting. I think it was $3.99. I love the handle and that really soft blue color. I feel like it's so perfect for summer so I just added this to the little stool. 
When I think of French country, I also think a lot about different materials and fabrics, and I wanted to bring that really cozy feel. So I had these beautiful napkins. They were from Michael's a few years ago. I thought I would just add these kind of to the buffet just to bring a little bit more texture. And I really love how they look, that soft white with the burlap material. I think it just adds a lot to the buffet. To balance out the blue on the other side from the kettle, I'm going to use this urn. I found this at Value Village for $4.49 and I absolutely love it. The color is so perfect. I love the shape of it. I feel like it really fits with the French country feel. And then I have some gorgeous flowers. I picked these up from Michaels. They always have sales on so I love to take advantage of that. And I just really love the wispy feel of these. They almost feel like wild flowers and I think they're just so perfect. I love the combination of the white, the blue, and the yellow. I feel like it's so classic and just so fresh. I love how this little vignette turned out. It really says summer to me, especially with the picnic basket and the colors, but I felt like there wasn't any yellow on the left side. Um, so to balance it out, I'm just gonna slide that little tea towel over just so I have a pop of yellow on each side of the picnic basket. And to me, I just feel like it looks more visually appealing and it's just so cute and definitely very cottage core. You'll have to let me know what you think of this display in the comments. I really love it. It may be a lot for some, but I think it's just really pretty and feels really homey and inviting to me. Let me know if you guys have started your summer decorating and kind of what colors you're going with. I know a lot of you are using the blues and the yellows. Um, I have this little blanket corner right in the ladder here. I'm going to add this really pale blue blanket. And then I did use this hat in my spring decor on the ladder, but I love the hint of blue with the ribbon so I decided to add it again and in between filming and decorating I did go and sit out back with Holstein I still need to decorate out here I've just added a few pillows to my kind of um, sofa but I want to really spruce up the backyard and add in lots of pretty colors and kind of bring that French country out back here but here's little Holstein he's really enjoying this weather and he loves sitting outside so I thought I would share that with you guys so moving back inside, I'm going to decorate the table now. I really wanted to do a simple tablescape um, that was really easy. So I started with this white runner. I've had this for quite a while and I love to use it in the spring and summer. And then I did purchase this blue runner this year um, and I thought I would just layer the two. I felt like the blue one was just a little bit too um, thin on its own and it didn't fill the space enough so I thought I would layer the two and I love the look and then I have this gorgeous picture pictures in white to me just really say summer and I just bent my floral stems um, and I'm just gonna place them right in this picture I never like to trim my floral stems because I move them around from vase to vase and different displays and I feel like when you bend them it does add some more stability um, so I'm just tucking these in and I love that bright pop of white. I did want to just explain the thought process of using the white flowers. I feel like they really tie into the white wreath and the lamps and just using a lot of light colors just makes everything flow together. And then I have these placemats. I've had these for such a long time. They always seem to carry these at home sense and winters in different colors. I just love how light and airy they are and I think they're perfect for summer or spring decor. The chargers that I am using today are from Michaels. They always have a really good selection and I always like to stock up when they have buy one, get one free. And I decided to alternate the colors so I did two white ones on the heads of the table and then two of this really pretty brown, um, kind of to tie into the picnic basket. And then all the plates I'm using today are from Dollar Tree. Um, those gorgeous blue ones as well as these lemon ones, they were all there this year at my local Dollar Tree for a dollar. $1.50 each 
and I think they're so stunning. They look so similar to ones I've seen at HomeSense for a lot more. And I'm just sharing a little clip of our local Dollar Tree and just all the dishes they had. Um, they had so much lemon decor and you cannot beat a dollar fifty. These cups were also from Dollar Tree. Um, I love them so much. I love the shape and just how low they are. I think they look so pretty on the table. And as you can see from this little clip here, Dollar Tree had the taller ones, they had some mugs, and then the shorter ones, which I got. Um, but I just love them and I can't believe the great products that Dollar Tree has lately. I feel like they have so many gorgeous items to choose from and so much variety. So I've been loving to shop there and saving money in the process. I think these blue candles are so charming. I love the shade. They're from the Dublin Mercantile, a local store, and then the actual candle holder is from Dollarama. Let me know in the comments if you guys like to create tablescapes seasonally or if you just like to keep it simple with just a display in the center of the table. Because we don't have kids, I really like to do tablescapes. It's just we don't eat at the table every night so it makes it a bit easier. So let me know what you guys do in the comments. I have this cute little table in this back corner. It was actually my mom's. I think it's chalk painted, but I love to add a little something to it. It's right by the back door. So again, I have a thrifted basket. I'm gonna drape this little tea towel from Dollar Tree. Again, it was $1.50. Everything from there is $1.50. And then I knew I wanted to add some books. So I brought in this little stool just to kind of raise these books up. And these were, again, from the thrift store for only 50 cents. I love that really beautiful green one and I just love the look of books I don't know why I've really been into them lately um, I think they're just so pretty and such an inexpensive way to add some decor to your space I did want to add a little pop of greenery. I feel like it looks so fresh and springy. This was from Michael's. I think it was around $10 and I love the look of that. And then just to bring a little bit of yellow here, I'm going to add some lemons to the top of these books. Moving over to my sofa table, I'm gonna add this floral display. Um, I love it, it's in this wooden box. I did buy it like this. And I love to jazz this up for the seasons. In spring, I had Easter eggs in here. And then for summer, I'm gonna add some simple lemons. It's a great way to not have to spend money um, every season on a whole new piece, but just kind of add in seasonal touches. I did thrift this blue um, dish. It's so stunning. I love the pattern as well as the top of it with the blue kind of lid. I think it's so pretty. So I found two that were similar, um, but not the exact same shape, just to bring in some of that blue kind of to the sofa table area. And then on the bottom, I did want to keep it quite simple just because the buffet does have a lot of decor. So I'm adding this stem basket and some pretty florals that tie into the florals that we used on the buffet actually just to kind of try to keep things cohesive and I love these simple stems and then just to bring in a little pop of color I'm gonna add this adorable little birdhouse I got this a few years ago from winners and I think it was only seven dollars but I think it's just so cute I'm just gonna show you guys some clips now of how everything came together and turned out. I think it's really beautiful. It ties in really well to the kitchen. And I just love the blues with the yellows. I don't know, to me it's very traditional and very summery. I love also the wicker components for the warmth and the vintage feel that they bring. Um, but let me know what you guys think in the comments. I truly love hearing from each and every one of you. You bring so much happiness and joy to my life 
and I just love being able to see your names and recognize you and chat every week. So I hope you've really enjoyed this video. I hope all the moms out there and the fur moms had a wonderful Mother's Day. I know it can be really hard for those that have lost moms or everybody's kind of going through different things in life. So just know that I'm always here for you guys and that God loves you and knows your heart. And I just so look forward to chatting with you each and every week. So until the next video, friends, take care. God bless.